It could be a devastating blow to the industry. The provisions in there appear to be somewhat draconian, which neither helps public health, in our opinion, or, nor does it help the businesses that have worked so hard in this space for so many years. Well, I think because of the stifling of the innovation and the over-owner's regs, I think you're going to find a lot of people are going to go back to tr traditional combustible cigarettes. That's what this, much of this grandfather provision itself is going to force to happen. Uh, it's just not really fair to try and limit a healthier alternative to something we already know is terrible for you. Uh, the tobacco industry is just really been bad ever since the start of it and everybody knows it as far as you know cancer and getting diseases but with um, vaping it's just all around you know a healthier alternative at least for me I've felt better with breathing and taste of food smell overwhelmingly these business owners are former smokers they were able to quit smoking using vapor products and they decided to turn it into a business there's nothing wrong with taking your passion or something that you believe in and turning it into a business which is what they have done um, they are not interested in, they're not big tobacco, they're not in league with big tobacco. Here at Vaporfy, we don't have many miners at all that come in, and, and, and we're going to ID anybody that looks under the age of 30 years old. We've done that from day one, we self-regulated ourselves, so we're a fan of that provision. Um, but ultimately, we don't see those miners, we don't see it the same way. We have people trying to quit smoking coming in, not so much the miners.